stop. Collaborate and listen. Benji's back with a brand new FM video. Here's some highlights. So then, the first game was against Reading, and it was quite the battle. Uh, we came across 3-2 winners. Came out of it 3-2 winners. The first goal was scored by Wes Houlihan. There's some great work by Gary O'Neill winning the ball back, and Houlihan applies the finish nicely. Uh, the second goal, Nathan Redmond, and it was a perfect example, really, of how we play this season. Graben gets it, sprints down the right-hand side, as we are so lethal usually. Uh, looks for support in the middle. It gets played into Johnny House, and I think he has a shot at goal, and it comes up to Redmond, who's there. And considering that came from their free kick, uh, it's a great goal. The next was a Pep Grogniak cross to Alex Pierce, uh, the back stick. And I wasn't worried, but I was more worried when three defenders went up for the same ball, and then Pep Grogniak at the back stick hammers one past John Ruddy. But straight from the kickoff, and it was an absolute delight for me, really. Uh, Lewis Graben scores. It's... It's one of these things, our team has a great ability to bounce back um, in that adversity. Occasionally, we get absolutely hammered, but even when we're against the Rocks a little bit, uh, we managed to find a way to win. And Lewis Graben getting his 29th goal of the season or something like that. He's up there. Uh, the next goal was against Brethren's goal. That game was against Brentford, I should say. Uh, Gary O'Neill getting the first on a wet and dirty pitch. Fired into the bottom, well, I'll say fired in. Trickled in to that in corner. And then uh, Elliot Bennett on the turn scores the second which sets up a very interesting last couple of games let's go see what happens Ooh, i'm excited so then crunch time has arrived we have two games remaining in the league after wins against reading and brentford we have wolves and rotherham oh it's all getting a bit tense now the reason we're on a friday and not a match day is because cardiff play bournemouth uh, a cardiff defeat means that we'll go up so i'm just waiting to continue to find out. I said Lewis Graben to score 29 in the highlights. 32. I'm an idiot. Right. Uh, oh, here it is. This is the game. This could seal. If, if Bournemouth win, we're promoted. <gasps> and they failed to do so. So, that really does set up a climactic couple of games. Kind of put the pressure on. It does, though, mean that if we win our game against Wolverhampton Wanderers, uh, that we are in very good shape for promotion. By which I mean we will be promoted. I'm very excited. We're going to do a double game episode. Um, just as a kind of thank you for all the support. I thought we'd do a bumper episode. I hope that's something that you're looking forward to. Uh, so then, the first game, everyone's looking match fit in my usual setup, which is good news. So I think we won't change it from the last game. Uh, the, the side that beat Brentford may well be able to beat Wolves. So oh, let's go ahead and try it out. Most of the squad that are playing in this game will still be here. This back four will, will remain... Uh, we'll talk about it now. I was going to do it at the end of the, the whole thing, but we'll do it now because uh, I think it's interesting now. So, in terms of players that we're going to keep around, uh, let's go through. Ruddy will stay. Martin will probably move on. Susie will stay. Basong will stay. They'll probably be our back two going into next season. They're both really, really good. Um, I, I, there's, no, there's absolutely no reason to drop either of them or to try and sell either of them but Sung's wage is still a little bit big but we're probably going to bring players in on that kind of wage anyway Olsen's a bit suspect he's got very good physicals as, as in he's very athletic but his actual defensive stats aren't that strong uh, Halson will probably stick around O'Neill I'm not sure uh, Bennett and Redmond will definitely stay Graben will definitely stay Houlihan may just become a squad bench player uh, in terms of the bench Rudd will stay I imagine Whitaker, we'll see despite being versatile he's not that good uh, Teti, Johnson, Bennett Vadis will all stay and then from there downwards they'll probably all move on so our squad next season will hopefully become a lot stronger uh, the next episode you'll see after this will be an entire transfer special um yeah a summer transfer special much like the january one which some of you seemed to enjoy now oh i'm a little bit nervous i'm going to tell them that we'll secure promotion and i'm going to passionately say i've got faith and combining those two should do it wolves are a decent side um, and our games on commentary have never been that good what are you doing here ben 2d classic that's what you're doing okay so hopefully we can pull it out of the bag um we'll put the goal replays on why not oh i'm a bit nervous because you go through a whole season and it comes down to this and it's part of a video too and you just want the best for your team that's like elliot bennett scores immediately come on four minutes in excellent news this will be promotion and we're currently top of the league obviously i think watford are oh, we playing the early game today 
Is that what's happening? It looks like it. We're playing like the one o'clock. Um, so we can seal promotion at one o'clock, and then depending on Watford do, our last game may well be a title clincher. Oh, oh boy, I'm nervous now. So, but it will depend on what Watford do because they were top of the league going into this game, like comfortably top of the league. And I'm talking about titles, and then what Wolf score, and it mixes it all up again. It puts us in a strong position, um, but not the ideal position. Obviously, we will have to beat Rotherham going to the last game. My word. I'm talking about how good our defensive, but that, that defending is pretty appalling. I'm not sure who to blame there. But I hope you've enjoyed the season. And of course, we will be doing another season. And then potentially, depending on how we are for time, uh, depending on how many double uploads I've done per day, we may well do another season. So we'll see. If it means I have to kind of go through next season a little bit quicker, if it's kind of looking like a mid-table finish, then I may do. As Elliot Bennett strolls through and gets the goal. Oh, come on, boys. His second goal of the game. He has been our MVP. Lewis Graben has been magnificent. But the creative aspect of Elliot Bennett's game which I didn't even know he had to be honest I didn't think he was that good um, oh what a man Elliot if you're watching thank you you're on Twitter so feel free to tweet him the game don't don't he'll find it very boring uh, Lewis Graben Johnny Halson Russell Martin Susie Gary O'Neill uh, you'll notice I've dropped Graben oh Bennett but the hat trick oh what a way to seal it it's half an hour gone and I'm talking about it being sealed. And then the text commentary said the word sealed. Me and the text commentary, we've got a thing. Lewis Graben. Oh, dear, oh dear, oh dear. Elliot Bennett with a finish. 3-1. Top of the... We're back up there. So I don't want to talk about titles again because we know what happened last time. Oh, but I've really enjoyed making... Like, I'll say thank you during this game. Oh, Lewis Graben's pinched it. Oh, my word. Um, I've really enjoyed making videos for the past... I don't know how long it'll be. It's been a few weeks now. It's just so much fun. Like, everything about it is just fun. I love the fact you all, you guys all like the videos and comment on the videos and I get to interact with you all. I try to reply to as many comments as I can. Um, it's just, everything about it's fun. It's just, it's just good. And it's so different from streaming too because there's so much more kind of production value um, in making videos. Streaming is great because you have like an instant response to the people in your chat. But there's something about videos that I do find very soothing and kind of... I don't know. I really like it. Elliot Bennett, surely not fourth. Oh, that would have been ridiculous. There's something I really enjoy about doing this. And people always say to me, you look like you're really enjoying it or you seem like you're really enjoying it. And they're right. I, I am really enjoying it. Oh, come on. It's got to be a finish. Oh, you are. That's ridiculous. But I am really, really enjoying it. So thank you to all the people as well, that not just the watching, but the people that have supported it by shouting me out on Twitter and in videos and whatnot. I am, I, will, like, I won't forget, let's put it that way, I won't forget, and I'm extremely grateful. And next season I hope to do, or next season, next FM, I really want to kind of do things with other people. Um, I really want to do series that include other people, maybe if it's just like versus matches or something, because I think they're really fun. Obviously me and Jack have got the network game going on, and that's like doing something with someone else is really, really fun with, with FM. And I just hope that FM 15's online features are as good as, not as good as this year, it's probably better than this year's. Um, but they're of a standard where you can actually do things in network games. Because this year they're a little bit slow with more than two people. And I'm hoping they improve that. That's one of the things I hope they really push on with. So that's been a highlight packed first half. Can we continue it? That's the big question though. Oh, dear, oh dear, oh dear. The pressure is palpable, especially as we are the early game, so there's no other games going on. We have to wait to see what Watford do, and then we have to go to Rotherham. Where are Rotherham? 15th. Okay. Who's gone down? This is something. To, there's no highlights in this half, so I'm talking about stuff. Oh, hang on. Let's make some changes. Houlihan looks a little bit tired. Uh, so we'll bring on Carl Lafferty, who's just a lump, really. He doesn't. He just doesn't contribute very much. Uh, Vadis can come on as well, because I want him to play next year. He may well be. like He was a big signing for me. Uh, in January, but he may well just become a squad player next year, which isn't something I'm really happy about, but might well, may well be the case. Oh, it looks like Lewis Graben is trying to take the top goal scorer's honours in, uh, in the Championship with a penalty, and it's saved. Well, he had the chance, and he's only got himself to blame, and the keeper, he made the save, but never mind. It's a team effort, and we're winning, and that's what matters right now. Oh, I'm kind of disappointed he missed it. Redmond 
Susie gets up. Bennett. Susie! And it's not counted for a foul or an offside or something. Never mind. No harm done. I kind of want this game to be done with now. Just so we can lock the win in. Uh, which seals promotion. I should probably mention the fact this will seal promotion. Because Cardiff cannot beat us. So the win actually seals it. Oh, come on. End the game. There's no way they're coming back. There's not a chance. Are we going to be promoted to the Premier League with a game to go? And then it's all about the title. Oh, this is the what dreams are made of. Ref. That is the most ridiculous whistle I think I've ever performed. Anyway, come on. End the game. I sound like a bird. Come on, let's do this. Finish the game. That's fine. I don't care. That's time. Time up. Time up. He blew on the whistle. Brilliant. So I've got promoted to the Premier League. Oh, that feels quite good. That's really, that's a success. That is, I did not want to go through the playoffs. So we're guaranteed a top two finish and Premier League football next year. Oh, God. That's good, isn't it? So next season will be a Premier League season to bring to you. Oh, the board are loving it. Oh, you and Roberts, club legend. Oh, everyone, thank you. Thank you so much. Redmond's got fitness concerns, so that's okay. Um... I should probably do that press conference, but we'll do the last one of the season. I always like to do the last one. I'm not too bothered about this one. And I want to keep the video flowing and moving. When's our next game? Is it a week's time? Okay, so we can just chat for a week. Uh, so with the squad, you might be thinking, oh, so what do you want to do next year? I think our central midfield, despite having quite a few good central midfield players, needs to be stronger. Uh, whether I play with an advanced playmaker next year will be up for debate too. Whether I stick with kind of a two midfield, I'll show you to, to explain what I'm talking about. Whether we play with that next year or we play with that next year, I don't know. There is, of course, the chance that we could try and pull off the Oviedo uh, formation in the Premier League, which I'm not sure if it'll work. You can kind of float him wherever you want. Um, I guess we'll have to wait and see on that. But, yeah, I think it'll totally depend on who we bring in, who's available, if we can get any absolute world beaters, uh, or if we're going to have to put the team around a certain player. Now, Watford won their game, which means they'll have to slip up and we'll have to win our final game of the season. So, the pressure is on we'll accept a loan for the end of the season which seems a bit daft but I guess they may have playoff matches that they want the extension for come on I want the title now I've not really thought about it I was just focused on promotion the title was never a thing I don't think I'd really mentioned it in previous videos it was just can I please get promoted I'd really like to get promoted um, and now that bit of the job is done the job is not over though there's more to do so come on boys Let's see if we can get up for it. Jack Butland. Hmm. See, I see these players in this, and I'm thinking they're all kind of... They're in that range that a lot of my squad are in. That They're not top players in the division. Um, let's say they are top players in the division, but then they're kind of really low to average players in the Premier League, and that's what you've got to try and avoid buying. So it's always better, I think, to buy young, because they're probably going to become better. And if they're already at kind of that good championship level, they'll become strong Premier League players. And I think that's really important when getting promoted. I think buying a couple of players that are experienced and that have been in the Premier League for a while is really important. But I don't think you should buy... Like I never Something I never do, well, I try not to do, is go into the Championship to then buy players to take with me up to the Premier League because I figure that they would already be there. So I tend to look abroad in those situations. Um, unless you've got some absolute talents, like Will Hughes is a good example, that you can always buy him because you know he becomes good. But there aren't many of that uh, brand in the Championship. So, uh, do we keep the same, the same 11 that has played throughout? I'm tempted to give Bradley Johnson a run because he's been quite a pivotal part of the whole season and I'm becoming a little bit sentimental about my selection, which is never good. Should, that should never be a thing. You should never do that. It will cost you in the long run. Anyway, uh, just go out there, relax. I'm going to calm them all and say, I have faith in you. Go out there, do the job. Let's hope. Oh, they're all loving it. If they can all love it, that'd be magnificent. Oh, that would have been great. That would have been the best final team talk. So the last game of the season. Oh, I can't believe we've got this far. It's taken me a while because I tend to record um, episodes in chunks. So to get to this point now, it's quite, I don't know, there's something quite, I, don't, I wouldn't say romantic, but there's something quite nice about it. As Johnny Halson grabs a goal. Now our goal difference is significantly worse than Watford. So despite being on the same amount of points, we do need them to lose the game, it seems. Which, you know, I don't wish a loss on anyone. But on this occasion, I would like it if uh, if they didn't win. 
Johnny Halston with the goal. He's been quite good, actually. He's one of those classic players, though, that I keep talking about, that he's kind of really good championship and then middle-of-the-road Premier League, and you've got to be careful you don't have too many middle-of-the-road Premier League in your side because you'll get hurt by it. So you do need one or two players that are above the actual quality of your side. Like the big question mark will actually be over Lewis Graben. He's had such a good year, but whether he can take that form into the Premier League where it's a totally different... Like People will know you'll do saves and then you'll go into the next year and your striker won't perform. And it's just kind of disheartening because you've had such love for Lewis Graben as he grabs another one. I'll never get bored of saying that. As he grabs another one, you, you just wish they were that good in the next division so you could keep them for years and years and they'd be like this prolific striker you've had throughout your save, but it doesn't always work out like that. But I will I'll trust him. Like He got us there. And once again, I'm being sentimental that you shouldn't be, but he's got us there and he's proven he can do it in this division. So it's only right that I give him a good run of 10 or so games before I make any sort of change. Uh, this all kind of depends on who I buy. And the next episode will be a transfer special of just the summer. Uh, but he's been that good for me that it would be wrong of me to remove him as the ball's played in oh it's kind of just dallying around and cleared Cardiff really dropped off actually I'm looking at the table there Cardiff on 91 points they were I feel like they were leading for a lot of it um, I don't know what happened to them bizarre I guess you look at other teams there like we'd, we'd lost a few well we lost to Forest didn't we and then it's all gone a bit a bit odd I can't, des I can't describe it as anything else Wigan Reading Forest all those teams you thought would be in the mix Cardiff Middlesbrough Derby Blackburn looks to be what the promotion spots or who the promotion spots will be filled by as we go forward once again Johnny House and Lewis Graben grabs a third and that looks to me like Rotherham are done I'm going to speed up the highlights a bit because I don't want to do a name rumbling but I thought it'd be nice to bring you an extended episode rather than I, I don't know if you mind well it kind, it kind of doesn't matter now because it's been going on for a few weeks but my episodes are usually a little bit shorter than a, than an average FM video I like to keep it quite quick and quite fluid and rapid um I don't want to I don't want you to feel like you have to skip through my video and that's the big thing for me I like you to watch the whole video and you're not skipping to the best bits uh which can sometimes be considered just the game footage so that's what I'm trying to do with my videos. And I've got loads of things planned. I already mentioned that FM15 is something I want to do with other people. But I've got so much planned for next year that I want to do. Um, that you should be as excited as me. Well, I hope you are. But obviously, you don't know what it is. But if anything, like if, if the last few weeks are things go by, you'll know I'll be cons consistent. And that's something I'll definitely promise. But then again, I want to be consistently good. And I think that's important. But yeah, I want to get other content creators involved in stuff that I do and I, w I want this community to grow I want, I want to be part of the growth that's kind of why I started I want to grow with this community so let's make it happen that's me giving a call to arms to other content creators that this community is only going to get bigger and better if we make sure of it so no slacking for 15 I'm sure everyone will be well up for it though I think we're at that point in the game now where you need a save like this to be really interested in Otherwise, this game becomes a little bit stale. And you may be watching and thinking, oh, this is a good way to go out because I'm kind of done with this year's FM. And we're all just waiting for the beta to come out and then the full game. So it'll be sooner rather than later, we hope. Then again, I'm not entirely sure when this video is coming out. As we pop in a fourth, uh, Bennett to Basong. Bennett getting himself another assist. He's been incredible for that this year. Cross comes in. Basong at the front post. Basong actually, slide off the season, I wasn't sure if I was going to keep him around, um, for those that you remember, because of his wage. And that's the 100th goal of the season. Wow, 100 goals in a league season. I know that's kind of not that impossible, but considering I didn't make any transfers in the first summer, and then I made only a couple, uh, but I haven't really changed the squad around. Score 100 goals with this side is really, really good. And Watford might do it as well, actually. And let's, let's look in on the Watford game, because obviously they're stopping us from getting a title. Um, I can only assume they're winning they are 3-1 against Wigan so Watford Watford have won the league we've come second it's been a good year um, the next time you'll see me as I mentioned will be the transfer special the summer transfer special as well as the opening game 
of the season. I'm not sure how I'm going to work it around, but you'll find out. Uh, thank you very much for watching this season. It's been my absolute pleasure. If you could leave a like on the video, if we could hit maybe 100, 150 likes. I don't know, 100 likes. Let's not, let's not push the foot out too far, Ben. Steady on. You're a new boy around here. Uh, from me, Dr. Benji, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.